Okay, welcome back. So I've made a solution to, version, uh, to parts one and parts two. Um, here's my tester. Um, it's not a very good tester, but it's at least I think gonna bring out any bugs that I have. Um, so I've got this uh, list of all the characters or this array of all the characters. Um, I'm gonna loop through them and I'm just going to use each one as a key. So I'm gonna insert all of the characters as keys and then um, my values are gonna be counts. Um, you might you might wonder what this empty string plus is about. This is my kind of cheap hack for converting an int into a string or converting a char into a string. Um, there are other ways, but this is sort of like quick and easy. Um, okay, let's run it and see what happens. Cool. Oh, I know what's happening. Okay, so I'm getting a stack overflow, which you might not know what that means yet because we haven't studied recursion, but you will. Um, I, when I was programming this a minute ago, I suspected that this might happen. So, <clears throat> so here's what's happening, I think. Let's look at it. So I run, so I run put, it runs put into array. Here I test to see if I've exceeded my maximum load. And if I do, then I grow the array. And then as part of growing the array, I rehash all my values. And then as I rehash the values, I'm putting them all into the new array. But putting them into the new array runs this same put into array method where it tests if the current array has exceeded its load. And that was the thing that triggered this in the first place. So this is still true. So I'm stuck in this infinite loop where I'm trying to grow the array, but in the process of doing that, I'm detecting that it still needs to grow and I'm continually trying to grow it. Um, I think maybe this is a good way to solve this problem. Let's put this here. This is this is a nice way to break this up. <clears throat> so when someone runs put, initially we try and decide, does the array need to grow before we put anything into it? And if it does, we grow it. Um, and then we actually put the thing into the array. And so now put into array, just put something into the array. It doesn't actually try and grow it at all. So I think that that should probably fix the problem or at least fix that problem. Okay, great. So that, so at least I'm not getting any runtime exceptions now. Um, let's go back to the hash tester. <clears throat> um, and I know I'm not getting any runtime exceptions because it exits without error here. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's done the right thing. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's do map dot keyset, and let's print out the key, and then <clears throat> map dot get key. So this is going to loop over all keys and then print out the key and the value. Ah, so my key set is messed up because it looks like I've got way too many keys here. Okay, and I think I know why. It's because um, whenever I grow the array and I put things into the new array, it's still modifying my count and my key list. So let's do this. Let's not actually modify those here. Uh, let's do this because this is private now. I want to return boolean for whether or not this actually added a new value. So the return so returns oops returns true if added new entry that had never been added before. So here, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this in just a second. So here I'm gonna return true. Here I'm gonna return false because it wasn't a new entry. And then here at the end, I'll return false. Okay, so I really only wanna update my count and my key list if this returns true. And I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it, uh, I'm gonna do it back in the public version of put here. So if, if this is returned true, that's when I'll add to my count, and that's when I'll increment my key list. 
or that's when I'll add to my queue list. <clears throat> okay, that seems like a nice decomposition. Let's run it. Let's run the tester again. Okay, so now I'm only going from A up to Z and all the keys and values look correct. I didn't get it displaying any collisions and that might be because I made my max load so low. So let's do this. Let's make the initial capacity five and let's make the max load be like 90%. Um, so I'm expecting to see some collisions now. No, no collisions. Interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna do a, a better kind of testing in a minute. So I am gonna call my testing of this complete and we're ready to do collision handling strategy. 